Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to uh, create grid ticks for um, for your site. So I've got my my site, my drawing here, and I need to create grid ticks <clears throat> across the site. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, uh, the simplest way to do this. There's a couple different ways that you could probably do this. But I'm going to show you probably the most easiest way that you can accomplish this. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all is uh, just so you know, in my drawing, I have a, a point style and a label style already set up. Um, and we're also going to show you how to do a, a point group. All right, so we'll, we'll bring all that together here in a second. So I'm just going to go up to points. I'm going to say create point. And from the point creation tools, before I start creating my point, I'm going to go over to uh, my drop down dialog box, expand the dialog box, and I'm going to start with the point identity. I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to say that I want to use point numbers uh, 500. That's where I want to start because I want to maybe put these, these points into a group. Um, that won't interfere with the other points in my drawing. So maybe um, you want to kind of give this an ideal point range. You know, if you wanted to use point 10,000 or or start at point one, all depends on what your point numbering convention is for for your plans and projects. So we'll just start with 500. We'll pick that number. We're going to uh, sequentially number it as true, and it's going to be an offset of point one. Okay. Now we could come up here and we could go to point creation and change some of these values here so it doesn't prompt us for the description or uh, elevation, but I'll leave that alone for now. <coughs> what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to my point creation tool and I'm just gonna create a manual point. Now on my command line, when it's asking me to specify the location of the point, I'm gonna use the uh, apostrophe uh, NE for northing and easting and I'm going to enter in an uh, equal coordinate value for northing and easting. So I've kind of identified my lower left corner of my site where my point should be. I'm going to type in this northing and easting. All right, so I'm going to put in uh, say 208 8900 all right, for my northing. Press enter and for the easting I'll put in a value of 608 6700. Press enter again. Now it's asking me for my point description. So I'm just going to call this grid. That's my description for my grid points. And I'm not going to put in an elevation. Okay. So just leave it at null. So you can see what it's done. It's, it's inserted a point down here at the very bottom. Okay. And you can see the label style that I have set up. And I'm going to escape out of the command because it's still asking me to insert more points. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up and just use a simple AutoCAD array command. Okay, so if I go to the array command, you can see here that I can put in the number of rows that I want. So maybe I want 10 rows and I want 10 columns. I can also put in the offset. So what is my spacing between my rows and my columns? And then if I wanted to have this at a specific angle, I could um, array this at, at that angle. All right, so you can see here, I'm just going to um, use this <coughs> uh, 300 by 300 grid tick uh, separation. Okay. I'm then going to come up and I'm going to select an object. I'm going to select that point object. Go ahead and right click. And I could preview this if I wanted to, but I'm just going to go ahead and click OK because I know this is going to work for me. I'm going to get this dialog box that comes up. It's going to say add duplicate uh, point number has been detected. Please uh, specify the option. So I can either use the next point number or I can sequence from a number, but I'm just going to use the next point number because I've already set it to 500. It's going to sequence it by one. I'm going to apply this to all duplicate point numbers. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that I've got grid ticks across my site. And they're already labeled. Okay, So they've already got labels on them. And I can come in here. You can see they're separated out uh, every 300 feet. OK. So you can see there. All right. So every basically spacing of, of 300 by 300. And what I'm going to do last is I'm just going to go over to my point groups and you can see my grid point group is out of date. I'm just going to right click on that and I'm going to select update. Um, let's take a look at the properties of the point group real quick. So when I go to the properties here, what it's doing is I'm including it by the raw description of grid. This way I don't have to select point numbers or anything. It's automatically going to add that. So I have this grid group in my uh, point group already set up in my drawing template so that when I create the points for the grid they automatically populate the grid 
a grid group and that grid group if we look at the properties again already has a point style and a label style set up on it so that's how my points all come in um, with that particular label style so that's a simple method for creating point groups or I'm sorry uh, grid points um, or a grid in your drawing to label your coordinate grid ticks